What's up, Jeepers? Welcome to Games Time. I'm Games, and today is another fresh movie review. And I do apologize for that awful fucking noise because that scares the living bejesus out of me and myself. <laughs> but today's fresh movie review is for um, The Grudge, the 2020 version. Um, rated R for my American audiences, rated MA for my Australian audience. I only goes for an hour and a half, which is really weird. Um, written and directed by Nicholas Pesquet? Pes Pesquet? I don't know what, um, ah, uh, okay. He's done The Eyes of My Mother, Piercing, and The Grudge. Cool. So, this kind of shows about a new, um, director, in a way, of a fresh kind of director, trying to make it all new and everything. Um, starring Tara Westwood, Junko Bailey, if I've said that right, David Lawrence Brown, Zoe Fish, uh, Stephen Cho, John Cho, sorry, um, um, Jackie Weaver, Frankie Fra Faison, Maria Stephen Kerr, uh, Lynn Shane, um, Demian Berchi, sorry, um, and Andrea Risenborough. Yeah. Um, the, and it's set in like 2006, 2007 and 8, roughly. It's, the timeline is weird. It, it's, it's, but yeah. Um, this is a very mediocre movie. Uh, compared to the original Japanese grudge, the American remake grudge, and uh, this version of the grudge, no, this was very tame. You could tell when the scares were coming, which was very disappointing. Uh, compared to uh, the one with Sarah Michelle Gellar in it, that grudge, and being it was set in Japan as well, and you had a Japan director doing it, it was more, where the fuck is this going? Because you don't, like, as I watched the special features for that one, they were like, oh, we like to, you know... Uh, do things here, there, and everywhere. Like, while you're watching there, something's happening in the background over there. Or, um, it's just like, oh, it's all people, and then blah! But yes, this was very predictable. Um, you could tell when the scares were coming. The, uh, little girl, uh, grudge demon thing was not as, um, scary as the little boy grudge. Um, boy demon or whatever. And Jackie Weaver was trying way too hard again. Like... Don't get me wrong, I, I don't mind Jackie Weaver, but she's got to know uh, what projects to try and um, aim for the Oscar for. And The Grudge, no, this is not her um, time to try and win an Oscar. Same with The Disaster Artist, it's like, no, just stop. Um, but but yeah, that's just, that's just my irks about her. She, she was just trying way too hard. Um, <clears throat> the CGI effects were good, better than, you know, just, you could actually see, like, the arm and the wrist and all that at the back of the head, from, from and it's like, mm, but this time it's like, you could see it come out, and you're like, whoa, that's cool, but, um, but yes, I have to say, big props to, uh, Andrea R Risenborough, or whatever, uh, as Detective Muldoon, as, for a woman being... Pursued by the grudge, haunted by the grudge, and a cop, she had an excellent trigger finger. Like, throughout the entire movie, being and jump scares, she never shot a shot off once. And I'm like, you are the best cop in the fucking world, Jesus Christ! Um, Zoe Fish, she's, um, how old is she? Oh, she, oh, I don't know, she's probably eight or whatever, she, um, she's the little girl in this movie. She does really well as a creepy entity, which is saying something, I'm not really sure, but, um, uh, Demian Birch, Birch, he's from The Nun as Father Burke, Bob from The Hateful Eight, um, uh, Loop in Alien Covenant. I don't like his style that much. Like, it may just be the movies I'm seeing him in, but I'm not feeling his energy, really. He just seems very 
uh, I'm in a haunted movie, cool, whatever, I'll just act, Blah. it's like, how about be scared, I don't know, that's just a thought, but, yeah, that's just me, um, <clears throat> But yeah, um, so I give this, uh, I give this a four out of ten. I was kind of disappointed. I wanted to be scared, and you know that uh, noise was is always scary as fuck. But no, um, it you could tell when the scares were coming, and that really disappointed me. Um, <clears throat> and it was kind of tame to what they could have done as well. Uh, it's all it's being that the grudge is all about the hate and the just the the demonic possession of a demon, and how you've done something to the point of of a of a, of a jaw. Uh, I'm hoping I'm saying that right. Is um taking place. It was it was very mediocre, very tame, because I was expect like I wouldn't have mind seeing a you know a dude cut his baby out of the stomach. As fucked up as that sounds, that would have been powerful. But um, I do believe we're probably going to get a second grudge, or however you put that. Um, but yeah, no, he, this is not good. Um, a four out of ten. Go like said, if you want, if you want the premise of jump scares, I would say watch this first because this is. As I said, it's very tame to what they could have done, and compared to the other ones, the Grudge one, two, and three, and the original uh, Grudges as well. No, I just, they could have done better. Uh, so, yes, uh, if you guys seen this, what did you think? Did you enjoy it? Am I being way too harsh? Um, and do you think you would have an, an itchy, an, an itchy, a trigger finger? If you saw a fucking ghost or whatever pop out, would you fucking shoot? Because congratulations to Detective Maldoon for actually not shooting a fucking shot. I was like, go you. You have balls of steel even though you're a lady. But I was like, damn. But yes, 4 out of 10. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. And more movie videos are to come of also of uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. I need to get on to Goat Simulator and more movie reviews because I got Birds of Prey. Uh, what else did I see? <laughs> they got Colour Out of Space. And I just recently saw Fa Peter Butter Falcon and I absolutely love that one. And more and more to come. Sonic. Yes. <laughs> but yes. Like I said, more to come, guys. Thank you very much. Uh...